In this video, we're going to show you how to make this wonderful centerpiece for Easter. And it comes with different patterns for the main egg. Begin by making five copies of the um, pattern that you choose. There's a crazy quilt and there's other patterns available to do for the main egg. And you're going to paper piece the whole thing, five of these. So um, I've placed area number one on the unprinted side, right side away, so that all of area one is covered. Then I'm going to take a piece of fabric larger than area two, and I'm going to place it right side down past, and you know, you can fold it. See how I folded it on that line? That gives me that line. And then I'm going to place the fabric right side down past that line, turn it over, and sew the whole line, and then trim the extra out of the seam. This will fold back and cover area two. And then I'll do the same thing with, with three and four five, six. Then once I get that done, I've made the back piece and there's two pieces that are sewn together. Uh, I need to change this one because that's the wrong side, right? I need to have both of them right side showing. And, uh, and then I'm going to put this right side down so that the seam is right in the middle of the egg. And then I'm going to sew all the way around on the solid line and trim it out on the dashed line. And then I'll show you what I do next. Now I finished paper piecing this part, placed it on top of the um, backing that was two fabrics put together. Then I sewed it on the outside sewn line, cut on the outside dash line. And now to turn it, I'm just going to slip one layer here on the top because this is going to be folded back and won't show and I'll turn it right side out through that hole then uh, press it and then I'm going to stuff the two side, the two smaller eggs then I'm going to put two um, things together oh I did whip stitch that hole closed then I'm going to put two eggs together and I'm going to mark this hole this line is pretty easy to see because it's the V to B sides so you might not have to even mark it and then sew it together this is what you get and then I'm going to do it all the way around each um, five units together and we'll see what it looks like now we're finished we um, whip stitch the openings on the back of the small eggs that we were using for turning and then when it's put together those openings are next to the large egg and they don't show and then I just tack these down and um, I press it even the stuff part I press and then for this particular Easter uh, design you need a small uh, vase or a um, stemmed candy dish or something for the egg tips to show and then um, if you go with a larger theme for the center it becomes a flower and I just think it's fun easy and a lot of fun and I hope this video has helped you click the circle to subscribe to our YouTube then click the bell to receive notification on our newly released videos we would love to see your finished creations. Send them to us through Facebook or Pinterest.